I'm Donna Borstein and I'm bride number 22. My name is Amy Drexler. I was bride number 55. My name is Debbie Cohen and I am bride number 62. All brides, all sharing the same something borrowed. And the story behind it is quite the happily ever after. She was wonderful. She was the sweetest, most lovely. Joan Rogoff is talking about her mother, Ruth Borstein. In 1932, Ruth walked down the aisle with a timeless chiffon handkerchief that she purchased for her big day. It brought her happiness on her wedding day and luck through her life. We have a picture of my mother's bridal party. That's beautiful. Ruth decided to lend the hanky to other brides on their big days, something old and something borrowed, all in one. And fast forward 23 years later, the 12th bride carried the hanky down the aisle, Joan herself. We got married, it was in 1956, and we got married at the Tudor Arms Hotel, and it was just beautiful. The hanky made Joan's day that much more special, and her sister-in-laws, Ruth's daughter-in-laws, Susan and Donna, say they felt that special connection too. I thought it was a wonderful tradition and I was very happy and honored to carry it. It has very deep meaning, and I'm grateful to be part of it. Ah, the handkerchief club. <laughs> Joan eventually became the keeper of the hanky to carry on the tradition that her mother started. Most people carry it right around their bouquet of flowers when they walk down the aisle. Lending the hanky to her friends and then her daughters, Debbie Aronson and Marcy Moses, and many in between. So I was the 53rd bride, and I got married in 1991. We just had our 31st wedding anniversary. Can you believe that? Today, Marcy is the keeper of the hanky, making sure loved ones feel that special connection too. Neela was the 86th bride to carry this handkerchief just this past April. Marcy's sister-in-law, married to her brother. But it's not just family. Best friends have also shared in this tradition. Friendship means so much, and to take a piece of our friendship and put it in their most special day of their life is really special on every side. And looking back at her friends that have carried it, my sister's friends, family, aunts and uncles, first cousins, it's just so cool that we all share this together. Including Amy Drexler, ride number 55, Marcy's college sorority sister. For me, this was an incredibly special connection. I'm sorry, I'm gonna cry. Um, I don't have sisters, but I do now. She wore it proudly on the beautiful November day in 1991. And walking down the aisle with this hanky made you part of a sisterhood, a club, a belonging. The same for bride number 62, Debbie Cohen, their fellow Ohio State sorority sister. On her wedding day, Marcy presented Debbie her something old and something wrong. Yeah. That's running family. I'm so happy to have Debbie when I watch that video, it's it's just the friendship that we have had for so many years. It just brings it all together. And more recently, Anita Sickerman, bride 83, got to carry the hanky. Widowed, she remarried in December 2009. Her something borrowed, the hanky. I knew about the handkerchief, and my two daughters and my daughter-in-law carried the handkerchief. And of course, when I told Joan when we were getting married, she says, you've got to carry the handkerchief. I said, of course I'm carrying the handkerchief. It's a tradition I never want to break. A tradition that's grown generation by generation. Friends and family passing a handkerchief bought nearly a century ago down to their children and then their children's children. Each bride carrying a piece of the ones before, an unbreakable sisterhood on one of the most important days of their lives. This book proves it. And the Hank and the book now captures every single person who got married, the date, and what number bride they were. So I'm keeping it going on and on. I like to feel that she's looking down and knows how many people she has made happy by carrying this.